The barbell clean is some of the most fun you can have in the gym because you get to jump the barbell up from the floor into the catch position. Now, to do that, you wanna be in your maximal vertical jump position. If I told you you were gonna do, you were gonna do a vertical jump, I want you to give a couple hops and find the foot position that you can picture being able to jump the highest. That's your foot position. Next up, thumbs with outside of your legs. That's your hand position. Thumbs now become part of the bar and you're gonna grab onto them. This is called hook grip. It's a little uncomfortable at first, but well worth the time to get used to it because it allows you to pull more weight off the floor more quickly. So from here on out, your thumbs are part of the bar. So in the barbell clean, there are three pulls technically, and I'm gonna go over them really briefly here. First pull is from the floor to the position where you're gonna start exerting max force on the bar. Pull two is from there to about here. Pull three is you are pulling yourself down under the bar. So not really more of a pull up, more of a pull down. So again, that's first pull, second pull, third pull. Now people love to fight about the first pull and the exact position your body should be in. I frankly don't care what position your body is in. I don't care if you dance the bar up to that transition between first pull and second pull. All that matters is that you're ready to go on that second pull right here. So this is the position, this is the most important position you should get familiar with. In this position, your shoulders are drawn way back. You're proud to be a weightlifter, I always say. Ready to move that bar vertically in that transition from the first pull to the second pull. The second pull is where you get to be really aggressive. Using the power of your glutes and your hips, you're gonna slam that door shut right here, make the bar float up. So there's a point that you're gonna be in quadruple extension all the way here. Here and the bar is floating up. Using your arms, you're gonna guide it so that it stays close to your body the whole time until you're about nip height. And then you're into the transition between second pull and third pull. Now third pull is really just pulling your body down under the bar. So you're pulling yourself down. And I want you to pretend like you have two laser beams on the tips of your elbow and you wanna shoot the person in front of you. And the fastest draw is gonna win, just like in a shootout. So bam, pew pew, all right? I'm gonna show you with a barbell next. And again, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on the first pull because the most important pull is that second pull because that's when you get to move the bar. That said, your first pull goes best when you think about getting your, clearing your knees out of the way and letting your hips and your shoulders rise at exactly the same rate. Back angle stays the same, if that makes sense. So going from here to here. And then you're ready to go on that second pull. So the whole thing looks like this. I'll just walk you through the first pull nice and slow. Slow, 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 slow. And now I'm ready to go. I'm in a position that I know that I could jump the bar up. So here we go. And now I'm gonna smooth it out. I'm gonna go slow in the first pull just to show you now from right here, I'm ready to unleash on the bar. I feel like I'm in a really powerful position. I'm not too far out. Shoulders aren't over the bar. I feel like I'm in a position that I can jump the bar up into position. So from here, I'm gonna slam my hips forward and get my laser beam elbows ready to go. This is not meant to be a comprehensive guide on how exactly to clean. I encourage you to get a little in-person coaching on this, but this should give you a good start.